So now you can see I'm inside my uh, Debian operating system and my operating system is running. But there is one problem here and that is you can see when I resize the VirtualBox window, my Debian desktop size doesn't change according to the size of the window, right? So even though my uh, Debian operating system is installed, the window here I can see is still not resizing according to the size of my uh, Windows operating system, for example, right? So to solve this problem, what we need to do is we need to run these two commands, which is uh, sudo apt update and sudo apt install dkms build essentials and Linux headers. So I'm going to uh, just open the terminal first of all. So search for terminal here and then open your terminal. And here you can uh, give these commands. So the first command is sudo apt update and then press enter give your Debian's password so now first of all you will see this kind of uh, error which says code bind is not a sudo file right this is because uh, we need to add code bind into the list of sudoers or we need to provide all the privileges to our new users which uh, we have created right the root user have all the privileges but we have logged into our operating system as the new user. In my case, it's code bind. So to solve this, just write su space uh, hyphen and then press enter and, and then give your root password which you have provided at the time of installation. So I'm going to provide that and then press enter. And you can see now I am logged in as a root user, right? Earlier I was logged in as a code bind user and now I have been logged in as a root user right here what we need to do is I need to give this command vi sudo and then press enter which is going to open this kind of file and here when you will scroll down a little you will see a list of uh, all the privileges to the root user you can see root user have all the privileges here so here what I will do is I will just select this line, right click and copy this line. And on the next line, I'm going to paste this. So right click and paste the same line. And you can see we are logged in as a code bind user, right? So we want to give the privileges to code bind user. In my case, whatever you see here before at the rate Debian, you need to provide the same name instead of root on the next line. So here I'm going to just give uh, code bind here once you have given all the privileges to the user you have created just press Control o and then press enter and then Control x to exit out to verify that your changes are saved once again give vi sudo command and once again go to the same location and if you see your uh, new user have all the privileges line then your changes are saved. So press Control X once again. So now I'm going to exit out of this uh, root user. So now I'm uh, logged in as this code bind user once again, right? And now I'm going to give the same command, which is sudo apt update and then press enter and then give my Debian's password and then press enter. And it's going to start the update this time. And you can see everything is up to date. Now we are going to give the second command and once I have given that command I'm going to press enter here and wait for the installation so once this command is finished uh, what I generally do is I generally try, try to mount the VirtualBox guest editions image using this devices option and see if uh, that works so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on uh, devices here and then click on insert guest editions CD image and once I click on that option, I go to activities and then search for uh, files here. So just search for files and you will see this uh, is mounted. So I'm going to click on this image and then click on run software and then click on run, which is going to ask me for my password. So I'm going to provide that and it's going to 
just installed this VirtualBox Guest Editions uh, tool. So once again, wait for some time until this command is finished. And uh, once you see this kind of message, that means the virtual uh, box guest editions has been ins installed successfully. So I'm going to just press enter here, which is going to close this window. And at this point, I just need to restart my Debian operating system. So just uh, click on this top uh, bar here and then click on this uh, power icon here and then click on power off and then click on power off, which is going to power off my Debian operating system. And once that's finished, I'm going to restart my Debian operating system once again. So select Debian, start it. And now it's being started. So just wait for some time until you see the login window. And now I'm going to give my password. And once I'm logged in, and when I try to resize the Debian window, you will see that it's going to resize according to the size of my uh, desktop. And that is what I wanted. So now I can easily use uh, this uh, Debian operating system on my uh, Windows host using VirtualBox. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.